Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh Wheeler here. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to overcome sadness. So with that, let's cue the intro. You can't touch this. All right, guys, we're back from the intro. Again, this is Josh Wheeler. If you guys haven't seen any of my videos before, uh, I am an internet entrepreneur and I focus on helping you guys become happy, healthy, and wealthy. Uh, if you're interested in that, please subscribe to my channel. If you like the video, please do so. Uh, so back to our main topic, how to overcome sadness. So what is sadness, first of all? That's probably the best place to start. So sadness is really an emotion and emotions are energy in motion. So basically what that means is your sadness and how you feel and what, you, what you're thinking uh, becomes manifested in your outward physical body. Um, so your, your emotion is your energy that you're feeling becoming manifested in your physical nature. All right, so now that we've got a, a, a slight understanding of what an emotion is, let's talk about sadness. So sadness is an emotion that comes typically because you didn't receive something or get something that you thought you should have gotten. Um, you know, whether that's a particular job or a person, a friend, a group of friends. Uh, you know, sadness can come from many different things. It can also come from a loss of something that you thought that you would have. So loss of uh, a job, loss of a loved one, loss of a, a group of friends. And so basically what's going to happen is that continues to manifest itself. And that manifestation will, will go into actions in your body. And your body will then continue to act out those things throughout your life. And so it can have massive detrimental impact to your life. Now... The first thing to understand with sadness is where are you? So are you, are you feeling sad because of uh, something that's happened? Are you feeling sad because of something you thought should have happened and didn't? Um, you know, really understanding where you are can help you to overcome sadness very quickly. So take a quick inventory and understand what is causing you to be sad. Why are you sad? And then from there, you need to, to work to fix that. So you may be sad because of, um, you know, let's say the, the loss of a loved one. How are you going to fix that? Uh, you can't obviously bring that person back, but what you can do is cherish the memory and look for someone to fill that void. Because what happens in sadness is you have a void that's created, a vacuum of something that you thought should be there but isn't. And so that's what causes you to have that sadness. So if you can find something to fill that vacuum uh, that's going to help you over time, you are going to be able to overcome that sadness in time, right? You, nothing will happen overnight, but it will happen over time if you let it. And so that's my recommendation to you guys. And that's how you move on from sadness and quit being so sad and begin to have that joy in that life again. Now, if you found this video helpful, I would appreciate it if you liked the video. Subscribe if you haven't already to my channel. And I've got more videos like this, so please check them out.